Hello, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family. Welcome to another episode of Your Daily Word with Pastor William Sunu of Joy Christian Center in the United Kingdom. Um, I trust that your week went well. And boy, we are in a new month. This is the 10th month of the year 2021. So the month of October, I pray God's blessings over you and your family and trusting that you are growing in grace each day. Well, today's episode is a word for husbands. In the last episode, I talked about the responsibilities of husbands as revealed in Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Well, there is more wisdom for husbands in today's episode as well. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 29 to 33 in the New Living Translation reads, No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church and we are members of his body. As the scripture says, A man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. So again, I say, each man must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. We get the word husband from husbandry, which means the care, cultivation and breeding of crops and animals. So a husband's responsibility is to care, cultivate, and breed. In the, pa- in the passage we read from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 29 to 33, Paul compares a husband's responsibility to his wife with that of Christ and the church. He said, just like men don't hate their own bodies, but they feed and care for it, they should do the same for their wives because that is what Jesus Christ does for his bride, the church. In fact, the reason a man leaves his father and mother and joins his wife, which Paul says is a mystery, is because the man must activate his ability to love, care, and cultivate, and breed. The reason Paul called it a mystery mystery, is because The strongest bond known to mankind is the bond between a mother and her child. And only the marriage bond can separate that bond. Because in that new bond between a husband and a wife, there is the greater mystery of becoming one flesh. So when a man loves his wife by caring, cultivating and making her fruitful, not only in childbirth, but for her to grow and excel in knowledge, understanding, business, and etc., etc., you are invariably loving yourselves because you are one flesh. The wife in the passage we just read is also admonished to respect her husband because you, Madam Wife, are one flesh with him. So just as you respect your own body, ladies, give the same respect to your husband because you are one flesh. And no one, the Bible says, hates his own body, but cherishes and nourishes their body. We groom our bodies. We care for ourselves because we love ourselves. We love to smell good. We like to feel well and and, and we like to um, feel happy and joyful. The Bible says there's nothing wrong with that. Just that when you are married, do the same for your spouse. May the Lord bless you as you sit upon these words today and may he guide your walk and make you fruitful in the blessed name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and don't forget to share this episode with your friend and a loved one and a colleague at work and encourage them to subscribe to our YouTube channel because trust me, we are getting to our target bit by bit. We have exceeded 100 subscriptions. Let's keep on going because our target is 1,000. God bless you and thank you for sharing this episode.